Magandang magandang araw sa ating lahat. Welcome po sa ating new interview series called Bukas Palad. Saan pag-uusapan natin ang kanika nilang background and experiences sa pagsaserve. So bago ang lahat, magbigay muna tayo ng konting background sa ating special guest ngayon. So isa siyang first year at Far Eastern University, Manila, taking BS Medical Technology. Isa din siyang Leaders of Communications and Media Ministry in Cathedral of Praise Main Campus and also a former graphic designer of Barra Graphics and Harvest Creative Marketing Shop. Hindi lang yan, isa din siyang Chief Executive Director of Love Acts PH. So with all that being said, let us all welcome our special guest, Sir Dave Cansaliao. Hello. Hello, Dave, at sa mga viewers natin dyan. I will be asking the first question. What is your own definition of service? For me, uh, the very definition of service is basically to sacrifice. Because when you say service, meaning you love it, you love what you do, and you commit to sa bagay na yun. And imagine a world kung yung wala kang sinasacrifice. Like, lahat tayo magbibigay ng kung ano lang yung sumobra sa atin. I doubt na mabuhay tayo sa generation na ganito. Tangang tama ka dyan. Service is indeed a sacrifice. Next question. What phase, moment, or experience ignites your passion to serve? In 2020, um, nagkaroon din ng mga problems sa amin. Nung magsa-start na yung online classes, nung grade 12 kami, uh, there were teachers, former teachers namin, na nagpo-post sila ng um, help, asking for help. Kasi they lack resources. They do not have printers. They do not have papers. Pero the start of classes is just one month away. So doon kami nagsimula ng mga friends ko, uh, Shaina, Carmi, and even Denise in raising this uh, initiative. So hindi naman siya basically to start an organization para lang cool, pero it was a calling for help. Actually guys, I'm also part of Lavax PH. And since we have different responsibilities, we also encounter various difficulties. So Mr. Dave, what hurdles do you think to disrupt you to continue serving? Um, I think possible maging hurdle and actually an experience ko na rin is seeing people lose their passion. Kasi um, when you go into service, tas, uh, masaya kasi you are all driven eh. Pero kapag um, you're in the long run, nakikita mo yung mga tao na dahan-dahan silang nawawala. It kind of breaks your heart kasi uh, wala eh, things change. And akala mo okay na okay yung organization pero ayun, nagde-depreciate siya eventually. Despite these hurdles, are you willing to continue serving? If so, what will you do to minimize or overcome these obstacles? I would continue pa rin, syempre, to serve. So, the ways how I would minimize and overcome these obstacles is to go back kung saan nagsimula. Kasi most of the time, kapag yung tao nawawala yung passion niya, most likely, nandoon siya sa, nawawala sa isip niya kung bakit siya nagsimula. Kung bakit niya ba ginawa to, bakit pa siya nag-commit. Diba? So, we always go back. And in our case, ayun, it is to serve the people, to serve the Lord, and to spread God's love through actions. Thank you for that, Dave. So far, your answers have been very insightful. And of course, to finally encourage our viewers, let me ask you this final question. What can you say to everyone who wants to volunteer but is hesitant to do so since they have no prior experience? So, ang naalala ko dyan is yung verse about Matthew 7 verse 7 na ask and it will be given to you. So basically, sa vocabulary ng iba, ano yan, just do it. Kasi uh, matututunan mo na lang yan on the way. May mga tao na nandyan to help you, uh, available to teach you on um, what to do. Lalo na kung clear sa'yo yung why, kung bakit mo siya ginagawa, the how would be clear. Kung paano mo siya gagawin, andyan na yan. Mapipresent na lang sa'yo yan eventually. And do not be afraid sa kung ano yung ginagawa mo. Kasi the reason why you are doing that, in our case, ito, yung paggawa ng organization, hindi kami natakot because we are the ones who create the system. So meron kaming sariling system, so bakit kami matatakot na wala kaming prior experience? Eh kami pa nga lang yung first nagagawa nitong organization na to, so why fear, di ba? So that ends our first interview dito sa ating new series called Bukas Palad. So ulit maraming maraming salamat Sir Dave Salyao and for sure maraming na-inspire and marami din natutunan ng ating mga viewers dyan sa kanilang mga bahay. Again, kami po ang Bas Palad. See you all again sa ating susunod na interview.